Hello children, I am here back again with an interesting topic, quadratic graph. This is another important lesson that you all have to know when you sit for your examination. So I am going to take you through a few questions to discuss about quadratic graph. Alright, in the previous classes you must have learned that what are straight line graphs. Straight line graphs are just few examples that I have given. So it is sometimes, it, it is an equation like y is equal to 3x plus 2, y is equal to x plus 3, x minus 2, those types of equations are shown in straight line graphs. But today we are going to learn about quadratic graph, which the graph will look this way, in this shape. So these graphs are usually uh, y is equal to ax squared, plus bx plus c. This is how this quadratic graph shows. So how do you identify a quadratic graph? Quadratic graph we identify like the maximum value in the equation will be x squared. So that is how you I identify a quadratic graph. So if you have an equation with x cubed or x to the power 4, those are not considered as quadratic graph. The maximum value we will have in the equation is x squared and that is called a quadratic graph. Alright, now you can see there are two types of quadratic graphs here which is having two shapes. So these shapes, these u and this n type shapes are called parabola. Parabola, so this graph here is a quadratic graph with a minimum point and here we have a parabola a quadratic graph with a maximum point so these are the two types of quadratic graph that we will be discussing in this session today okay let's discuss this question question number one plot the curve y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 in the range negative 2 to positive 2. The x range would be from negative 2 to positive 2. So before we plot the graph, we need to find, we have to know the values for x and y for us to find the coordinates. So using this range, we are going to find the values for y. And then we, I will be teaching you how to draw the grid and how we are going to plot the graph and how are we going to get the smooth curve. Alright, now looking at the first one, so we have the equation already, equation is given as y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So we take this equation here and we are first going to substitute negative 2 for x. So 2 multiplied by x, we are substituting negative 2 to the power 2 plus 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus 1. So here, negative 2 squared will be negative 2 times negative 2 is positive five, 4, uh, multiplied by 2 is 8, and 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6 plus 1. So plus and minus makes minus, that is negative, 8 minus 6 plus 1 is y is equal to 3. So we will write it as y equal 3 here. So the coordinate here will be negative 2 and 3. Alright. And then we are going to discuss the next, which is again we are going to substitute y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. We are going to substitute negative 1 for x here which is negative 1 into negative 1 makes 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 and then 3 multiplied by negative 1 makes negative 3 plus 1. 2 minus 3 plus 1, y is equal to 0. And we write it there, the value for y will be 0 when x is equal to negative 1. So the coordinate here will be negative 1 to 0. Okay. So now we are going to substitute 0 for x. Let's see the workings. 
y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 again we are going to substitute 0 and then 0 multiplied by 2 makes 0 3 multiplied by 0 makes 0 plus 1 so y is equal to 1 so the value of y when x is equal to 0 is 1 so the coordinate would be 0 1 alright and then we get the next which is we are going to substitute 1 for x so 1 to 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 here 3 ones are 3 plus 1 so y is equal to 6 so y will be equal to 6 when x is equal to 1 so the coordinate here would be 1 to 6 and then we have the last question last uh, substitution x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 we substitute 2 2 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 then 3 to the power 2 is 6 and plus 1 is 8 plus 6 plus 1 is 15 so when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 15 the coordinate would be 2 15 so we have five coordinates here one main uh, one more thing that you have to remember is that when we plot a quadratic graph you should minimum you should have five plots five points to mark if not you will not get the right curve so it is very important that you plot you have five points to plot in your graph all right now we have the same question number one plot the curve y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 so we found the values and you can see the table here with the values with the values given so negative 2 3 negative 1 0 0 1 1 6 2 15 so I'm going to show you how to draw the grid first. So here the values are x should be negative 2 to 2 and y should be the maximum a minimum value here of y is 0 and maximum is 15. So we will see how to divide this square paper. There are different types of graph papers in the market. You can uh, choose according to the question that your teacher instructs in school so we are going to draw the two lines so you know the points to be marked here we go so I chose to draw the axis like this so we have enough space to mark and this would be the x-axis and this the y-axis so now we are going to let's see how we are going to number these uh, axes alright so like I told you the point here x would be negative 2 to positive 2 so we have here negative 2 negative 1 0 positive 1 positive 2 we have two more points here which is extra that's alright and we have y we have from 0 to 15 so starting from 0 we have up to 16 here so we know and when we draw the grid like this you have to remember the gaps in between should be always the same here the gaps in between should always be the same in y-axis and x-axis alone and then we are going to now we are going to start plotting the marking the points so first is negative 2 and positive 3 so negative 2 is here in x so first is x negative 2 and positive 3 is here so we know where it meets so the first point will be marked here there you are and the second is negative 1 to 0 so let's see we have negative 1 to 0 we'll see where we mark the point there and then the third point is 0 to 1 so we have 0 1 mark there 0 of x and 1 of y and then we have 1 to 6 which is marked there and 2 to 15 and now I have taken one extra point for me so that it's easy for me to explain it to you with a proper curve and now we are going to make a smooth curve by joining all these points in order there you are so you get this parabola with a minimum point 
and of for the it's a quadratic graph the curve is for y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 okay so let's look at our next question we are going to use the same equation but the only difference here would be we are going to take it as negative x negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 in the same range as negative 2 to positive 2 the workings would be y is equal to minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 we are going to substitute negative 2 first you will see it substituted here and then you find the answer as negative 13 and then we substitute negative 1 negative 1 when you substitute you find y is equal to negative 4 and then you substitute 0 then you find that y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 then you have x is equal to 1 when we substitute that to the equation y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 we have y is equal to and then we substitute 2 for x in the same equation and we find that we get y is equal to negative 1. Now we have the coordinates here which is we write the coordinates as negative 2, negative 13 and negative 1, negative 4 and here we have 0 to 1 and here we have 1 to 2 and here we have 2 to negative 1 so we are going to mark these points in a grid and we are going to find the smooth curve all right using this the values are already fed in this table here we have our graph paper so first we are going to uh, find out what are the minimum and the maximum values x we have the range from negative 2 to 2 y we have the range from 1 to negative 13 so we're going to start from 0 so this is how the x-axis and the y-axis will look and here are the points so y goes up to negative 13 starting from 2 here sorry we're starting from 2 there you are and now we're going to plot starting from negative 2 to negative 13 the first one and then we have negative 1 to negative 4 then 0 to 1 then 1 to 2 and 2 to negative 1 I have one extra point here which will be x 3 to negative 8 so that you will get a smooth curve for me to show how it looks there you are so this is a parabola with a maximum point all right now the very important point here is we are going to compare the two graphs that we drew so both are quadratic graphs both have x squared in both only different here would be the negative here 2 is being negative here and 2 is positive here so looking at these two graphs that we plotted so you see when the coefficient of x squared is positive it has a minimum value a parabola with a minimum value in here when the equation is negative we have a parabola with a maximum value so this is the main uh, change here and in this graph the graph intersects the y-axis in one here and in this also the graph intersects the y-axis in 0 to 1 so that is shown in this part here okay these are the main things that you should know in a quadratic graph so I'll take you through one question question number three a container has a square base of side length x meters and a height of 2 meters the length the volume of the container in cubic meters is given by the formula v is equal to 2x squared complete this table and use it to draw the graph of v against x 
So the x values they have already given which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we x cannot be a negative value because it's length. So length cannot be shown in a negative value. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and after drawing the graph we are going to find out the volume this question use your graph to estimate the dimension of this base that give you a volume of 36 meters cube so we are going to find the value of each all right so we have the substitution here that is using v is equal to 2x squared which they have already given as the equation we are going to substitute 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 0 was already given in the graph in the table. So we substitute and found that the value for v is the volume. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, then 2, 8, then 3, 18, 4, 32 and 5, 50. So let us see the coordinates how we are going to plot this in a graph. So since there is an x squared here, we already know that it's going to be a quadratic graph. Now we, uh, we have the y-axis and we have the x-axis. So I have taken it in the scale of 4, 4, 8, 12 because if not it takes, uh, we have to draw a very long line for y-axis. So we have the ranges mentioned this way. And we are going to plot the first one as 0 to 0 as mentioned here. 0, 0 and the second one would be 1 to 2, third is 2 to 8 and 3 to 18, 4 to 32, 5 to 50 and then we draw a very smooth curve like that which will give a quadratic graph. Use your graph to estimate the dimension of the base that give a volume of 36 meters cube. So the meter cube, the volumes are given in the y-axis. So we know that 36 is here. We are going to find out the length, the dimension, length and the width of the box, the container. Okay, 36, we draw a line to the graph and then we turn down and there. So this is approximately... 4.25, 4.5 would be here, so this would be 4.25. So the length of the base would be 4.25 meters. I hope this video will be helpful for you all to know about quadratic graphs. Hope to see you soon with another video. Bye bye.